Hello Aquarius and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Um, I'm checking into your love life Aquarius. Let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Oh, somebody's not feeling so good though. Um, okay, there's somebody who's missed an opportunity but they've kept their back turned uh, towards this connection this whole time. I feel like this person needed to make a decision. They needed to choose between you and someone else, you and um, and an addiction, you and a lifestyle. It, I don't know. Um, I feel like it was someone else. And this person is making a choice now. The lover's card is a choice, a choice in love. Um, I feel like this person has like kind of put you on some kind of pedestal, okay? Yeah, I'm seeing them knowing what they want and making a decision, but realizing, oh, wait a minute. I don't know if the collective is still going to be open to this. You know, they want to get back together with you, but they had a chance at that before. They had a chance at building something solid, and they missed out on it. Okay, they turned their nose up at you um, for some reason, okay? And now they're seeing you as an empress, Um you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Maybe a Libra, Gemini. Why did I say Libra? Okay, so maybe a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, even though air is not out here yet. I don't know why I said that. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Well, Gemini. Gemini is here, so yeah. Um, yeah, this person, I feel like now they're envious of you. You know, they thought you were... They had no idea you were going to succeed like this. They had no idea what you were capable of. I feel like this is somebody who initially they underestimated you. They chose somewhere else where they thought the grass was greener. They could have been judging you for materialistic reasons, okay? Um, yeah, I feel like this person was very materialistic, very superficial, Okay, um, and now you're doing better than them. I feel like, um, yeah, you're possibly more financially stable. You're possibly more successful. This person could be a business owner, boss, business owner, and maybe before they thought that was a big shot thing. You know what I mean? But you could be a boss, a business owner, an entrepreneur, and doing better at business than they did. You know, you're showing them up is what you're doing without trying to. Like, you're really just focused on yourself here. Um, you're putting your energy into the things that, um, that you can grow, okay? And you're attracting new things to you. So this person is kind of, they're, now they're jealous. I mean, they're having to eat crow, basically, is what they're doing, okay? And they're stuck but seeing you from a new perspective. Yeah. Realizing they misjudged you. Realizing now you're doing better than they are in life. How about that? You know, now this person wants to come back around, but oh, oh, they really screwed this, this situation up for themselves. Okay. Yeah, see, now they want to come back in and apologize. Um... But you may not trust this apology. Like this, yeah. This person is, they're in King of Pentacles. They're a King of Pentacles, but they're in Page Energy. Okay. Now this person may even need your financial help. They may be coming in looking at your abundance. Like, can I share some of your abundance? No. No. Yeah, the answer is going to be no on that one. I feel like... Um, you're good all on your own. You know, in Empress Energy, you don't need anyone. You are literally every queen in the deck, okay? There's going to be no comparison to you either. So, um, yeah, this person's realizing they thought they were choosing someplace where the grass was greener. There's no greener grass than yours. I mean, you're, um, you're building gardens. Uh, you're building empires. And I feel like you're putting this behind you. Uh, you just want to move forward. Yeah, see, this person had you stuck in a mental mind trap. 
okay, wondering what was going on, um, wondering why they hurt you like they did. They could have had you feeling self-conscious, of, you know, um, about yourself. It could have lowered your self-esteem, you know, took away your confidence in yourself, right? You were questioning everything, okay? And I feel like you've been thinking about this person for so long, but now look, you're putting all of these swords here, you're putting six of them in a boat and moving on. That leaves two left, and that means you're making a decision. And you're blocking this person's energy out, okay? I feel like you're done. You're just done with the situation. You're, you've healed, right, uh, Temperance Angel? You've healed. You're, you're very balanced in your emotions. And you could very well be manifesting a new soulmate connection here, okay? So, um, yeah, you're over this person. You, you're, you freed yourself from a mental prison over them. Okay, and they're watching you leave their life, and they're realizing, oh, crap, I had an empress. Right? Now you've got new love coming in. That's going to, ooh, collective. <gasps> collective. Somebody's about to ask you out on a date. Um. Or maybe, like, ask you out to some kind of event, a party, some kind of social gathering. They want to take you out on a date. There's somebody new coming into your life. This is new love coming in. Um, it just feels like a, like a big bang, okay? Um, it does. And I, um, I feel like you're going to be very, very happy with this. I'm getting excited, so now I've got to try to not be so loud. <laughs> Because this is this is making me feel really excited for you, okay? Um, new love coming in. It's going to make you really happy, okay? This could be something that happens very suddenly. Sometimes, I'm the only one who sees this probably out here, but sometimes I compare the sun card with the tower card because it is like a big bang. It's something that happens very quickly. Um, or it's just, I just feel like this suddenness a lot off of the sun card. Um, but yes, it's going to lead to your 10 of cups. Okay. This is emotional fulfillment. This person coming in, asking you out on a date, this person, I feel like you're going to fall in love with them. This is going to be something that happens fast. Okay. So you have someone new coming in and you have this past person kicking themselves over not choosing you, okay, in a lot of regret. Yes, thank you. Yeah, this is somebody who underestimated you, okay? And I, they keep coming back into your reading. Um, I feel like they just, they want your attention. They don't want you to move on. They're wishing they could have done everything differently, okay? They want to choose you now, but you're moving on without them. This person's given you nothing but swords, pain, worries, painful thoughts about the situation and yourself. And I feel like, yeah, you're, you're going to be quickly cutting this person out. Yeah, they don't want to let you go anymore. They don't want to let you go. They, uh, yeah. So they want you back now, but your answer, I feel, is going to be no, okay? You may have someone else around you, too, that's trying to protect you from this other person. There could be someone else in your inner circle um, that doesn't want this person around you either, okay? Who may know about the heartache that they caused you, and so someone else could be saying no to this person for you, like, no, you know, this could be, I, I keep hearing, no, you're not coming towards my sister. So this could be your brother, a family member. I don't know. That's for someone specific, okay? Not for everyone. Yeah, no, they, they look, they're coming in too slowly. They, they didn't come in to make anything right. This is, I feel like someone else is in your inner circle um defending you and telling this person no do not come back man all you did was hurt the collective yeah it is over oh yeah someone does not want this other person coming towards you i don't know who this is it's a, it's definitely someone who's got a very positive effect of in your life 
right? They, they bring positivity to your life. This is someone who is very close to you and loves you and cares about you, okay? Um, yeah, they're, they, I don't know. These two know each other. They know what this person did to you, and they don't want them to come back in, okay? They're protecting you. This per other person trying to come back, they could even be a heavy drinker, a partier, something like that, okay? Um, they could have put you in third parties. This is somebody that they could have bragged about hurting you to, right? They could have bragged to this person that about how they hurt you or how um, they talk to all these other people and get in these third parties and tee hee hee. It's really funny. They don't want this person back in. I feel like this is a selfish, materialistic, superficial person with some toxic tendencies that is now kicking themselves for not choosing you and wanting to come back, but somebody is saying, oh, heck no, right? You're not coming back towards the collective. So someone's out there looking out for you. Meanwhile, you have this other person coming in, okay? Very quickly, here's that tower moment, okay? I feel like these two may have a fight they could fight with each other. Um, they could be being told, you know, this is that tower moment where somebody defends you and says, nope, don't take another step closer. Um, and this is that sudden happening, right? Um, something is changing very quickly, okay? But I feel like someone's being blocked from coming towards you and this new person is coming in. Yeah, they're being told to walk away. Okay, ooh, so they're being told to walk away, um, walk or walk in the opposite direction, pal. Yeah, this person, I feel like because all they do is betray you. Yeah, that's the truth. So someone here is defending you. It's someone in your inner circle, somebody who loves you and cares for you, someone who's protecting you from this person from your past because they're tr they're going to want to try to come back around and they're being warned no it's over you're you're a backstabber okay so yeah they're being told to stay away from you and this new person is coming in oh <laughs> it's getting crazy it is it's getting really crazy um yeah somebody's been watching you from afar that could be either of these people. I feel like you're being, you're about to meet this new person. They could be watching you too. Like a, this could be like a secret admirer. And I feel like this person from your past is definitely watching you succeed. Oh man. I feel like you're attracting a lot of attention to yourself. Okay. Yes, you are. You could very well be in the public eye. But even if you don't have your own platform on the internet, right, um, e anywhere you go, people are turning heads. It's your energy. It's your confidence, your strength, um, the way you're glowing here. You've got a glow in your skin. You've got beautiful skin, a beautiful body, like you're beautiful. And you you just sparkle as you walk, Okay. <laughs> It's that energy that you have. It's attracting the attention of a lot of people. Yeah, a lot of people. Holy cow. There could be up to seven people who are going to start like wanting to court you, wanting to date you. Okay? Definitely there's going to be one that stands out above everyone else, though, as your Ten of Cups, your wish fulfillment, okay? But you are about to be, like, chased like crazy. Chased like crazy, collective. <laughs> yes. Someone is stopping this ex from coming back in, and all of these options, like, all of these people are just kind of going gaga over you. There's something very magical about you, okay? There is. There's something very mysterious, powerful, um, beautiful, positive kind of energy. Yeah, you're turning everybody into complete and utter fools over you. <laughs> 
Yeah, everybody's like, oh, you step into a room and you're turning heads, you're making people feel like all goofy and, you know, um, yeah, I'm, I'm seeing, I'm seeing the movie The Elf, right, with, with um, Buddy the Elf and he's approaching um, Jovi, that's her name, he's approaching Jovi in the store um, for a date and he's like, yeah, um, when I'm around you, my tongue swells up and I feel all warm inside. That's how you make people feel, okay? <laughs> you do something to them. Oh man, and everybody wants a new beginning with you. You're about to have so many love options and you may not be aware of it. Look at how you're moving, right? You're, you're, you're moving throughout each day just kind of focusing on yourself, okay? Um, focusing on what you've got to get done. You know, um, you kind of have a bounce in your step, step. You're motivated. You're confident. You know, you walk into a room and you're confident. You feel, you feel good because that, that, um, that confidence is within you and you carry it everywhere you go, okay? Um, it's kind of that energy, and people are like adoring it. You change the energy of a room when you walk into a room, okay? You may notice that people are starting to stare at you a lot. <laughs> this is why. This is why. If people are staring at you a lot, if people like want to kind of be around you more, you know, everywhere you go, it's because of this energy. It's because of this energy. It's because of this empress energy. Okay, this is like a magnet. It's literally drawing people to you. You don't even have to be aware that you're doing it. Okay, I don't think you are aware that you're doing it. <laughs> but this is why people are like watching you, wondering wondering what you're doing. Or you could feel like you're being almost followed you know, through aisles in a store or a lot of eyes on you. Like you could be getting gas and walking through the parking lot and you just feel a lot of eyes on you. That happened to me the other day. And I kind of had to look back and you can't see who's watching you through their cars, you know. But you can just feel it, right? You go into a store and people just want to be in the same aisle you're in or everybody just kind of turns and looks at you, right? You're beautiful. It's that glow. I'm telling you, you've got this shine about you. <laughs> it's that glow and that loving, warm energy that you give off, okay? It, it gets people hooked, like, right away. Look, they're like, oh, my gosh, whoa. <laughs> you know, this is them, like, whoa, right? I want a new beginning with that person, okay? That's what they're thinking. Seriously, you're going to, your love life is about to get nuts, okay? And you're about to be chased like crazy. A lot of uh, multiple options. It could be up to seven people wanting a chance with you. Okay, you make people feel weak in the knees, okay? You do. And I don't even think you're aware of it, okay? <laughs> oh, I love this for whoever this is for. Anyway, get ready to be chased like crazy, okay? 